There's a lot to love about Under the Oak Tree, but if there's one thing that we all agree on is that we love Maxie. Maxie takes being a badass heroine to a new level by growing from a terrified girl into a powerful sorceress. The journey is not only inspiring but heartrending because we all root for her. In this video, we'll count down the top three times we wanted to hug Maxie. Spoiler warning, this video covers the entire 193 chapters of Book 1. Number 3. Riften telling Maxie she's not as good as Princess Agnes. Princess Agnes is someone who Maxie sees as the polar opposite of herself. Tall, blonde, powerful, defiantly successful against social conventions that treat women as weak, Agnes took part in the Dragon Campaign where she fought alongside Riften. Spurred by jealousy, Maxie's inferiority complex is aggravated whenever she thinks of the beautiful and talented princess. It's that insecurity that Riften taps into in Chapter 111 when he tries to talk Maxie out of learning magic. He snaps that Maxie shouldn't compare herself to Agnes, a grand sorceress with a lifetime of experience. Though his words come from a place of wanting to protect Maxie, Riften really puts his foot in his mouth with this one, and even worse, he says it in front of his knights. No! 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 Obviously, this hurts and infuriates Maxie, and we wish we could give her a hug and tell her she'll always be number one in our hearts. Number two, Maxie asking Ruth if he can fix her stutter with his magic. In Chapter 71, one of the Rem Dragon Knights, Sir Ursuline, mocks Maxie because of her stutter. He asks if she's even able to speak properly to conduct a spell. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? This shatters Maxie's confidence, and in return for the harsh words, Riften shatters Ursuline's face. Insult this guy's wife at your own risk. Then Maxie asks Ruth if it's possible to fix her stutter with magic. Ruth explains, in an uncharacteristically gentle way, that magic can't change disabilities. What's saddest here is that after a lifetime of abuse from her father, stuttering is the thing that Maxie hates most about herself, and the thing she knows with certainty magic cannot change. It took an immense amount of both courage and desperation for her to even ask Ruth to try to fix her at all. Maxie deserves a big hug for this one, and maybe Ursuline deserves another punch in the face too. And finally, number one, Maxie listening to Riften say that he won't wait for her as she decides to go to the Mage Tower. At the end of book one, the star-crossed lovers are forced to make a very difficult choice, the circumstances of which we will dive into in our future videos. Maxie decides that she will leave for the Mage Tower, which means she and Riften will be separated for three years. Riften is completely heartbroken. He begs, saying that if she really loved him, she won't go, since he doesn't need anything but Maxie in his life. But Maxie is determined to make the sacrifice so that Riften doesn't lose everything he's worked hard to earn. Seeing her determination, Riften gives her an ultimatum. If Maxie goes through with her decision to leave, he won't wait for her to return and instead end the misery of loving her. Maxie feels torn apart by this. She loves Riften and wants to be with him, but she sees this as the only way for her to finally stop hating herself and be with Riften without feeling she doesn't deserve his love. This is the number one moment we want to hug Maxie because we can see her suffering, but she has truly matured to the point she's able to decide and act on what's right for both herself and Riften. So there's our list of the top three times we wanted to hug Maxie in Under the Oak Tree. Do you agree with our choices? Curious whether Riften really ended things with Maxie? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to see more of our content heading your way.